here we have an integration by a substitution question. I want you to pause the video and make an attempt at this before we do anything else. Alright, so here we go now. We have the integral of a product of two functions. And one of them is 7x plus 3. The other is 7x squared over 2 plus 3x plus 5 raised to the power of 6. So that second one there is a function of a function. Alright? So, let's see what we can do here. What we're going to do is take one of these functions that multiply one another and say, suppose we substitute a variable to represent it and we differentiate that would we get the other function there and if we get something looking like the other function then we could do some calculate some cancellation of the functions right so we could Rearrange it to get dx and see what dx is. So, let's see what's going on here now. And by the way, I don't think we really need these square brackets. Alright, so let's get rid of the square bracket. The square brackets might cause some amount of confusion. So, let's u be equal to 7x squared over 2 plus 3x plus 5. Alright? Now, that means that the u by dx would be what? Let's differentiate this. This would be 2 times 7x squared. Well, 7x to the 2 minus 1 over 2 plus when you differentiate 3x you get 3 plus when you differentiate 5 you get 0 alright so therefore the u by the x is equal to you cancel the twos so you have 7x plus because 7x to the 2 minus 1 which is 7x to the 1 but 7x to the 1, as you know, is just 7x. Plus 3. Alright. Let's make dx the subject of this equation here. So when you rearrange it, dx would be equal to du over 7x plus 3. Alright. That is what dx is. Now, let's rewrite this integral with the u instead of the 7x squared over 2 plus 3x plus 5. What we have is the integral of, what do we have here, 7x plus 3, of 7x plus 3. All of this is u, so it's u to the 6 times u to the 6 now at the end we have dx alright so you see what's happening there now what was dx again dx is du over 7x plus 3 so let's rewrite it as that this is the integral of 7x plus 3 u to the 6 dx but dx is du over 7x plus 3. Alright, you could put the 7x plus 3 in bracket. But look, guess what? The 7x plus 3 here cancels 7x plus 3. You see, so we're getting somewhere. So this is the integral of u to the 6 du. Alright, so we integrating u to the 6 with respect to u now. 
So what does this give you? It's going to be u to the 7 divided by 7 plus c. Alright? But then, what was u again? u was 7x squared over 2 plus 3x plus 5. So what we have is 7x squared over 2 plus 3x plus 5 raised to the power of 7. And this is all over 7. But we could make it a bit neater. What we can do is say this is equal to 1 over 7 times all of this plus C. Ah, there you go. That is our answer.